on a little bit of a serious note here. Um, so obviously this is like the main thing going around, not only in the U S but the world. Mm -hmm. And, um, I I've heard that if you mention this in a video, it gets demonetized, but whatever, we're going to talk about it. Uh, so yeah. So let's talk about, um, the impact of the coronavirus in the video game industry. I mean, of course we do a Nintendo podcast, so we're going to focus on that end. it's much more serious than a video game problem. Mm. But, uh, I just wanted to talk about it because we're getting um, announcements that game conventions are being closed and some are being canceled or some companies aren't showing up. Um, and then also, maybe this could tie to the fact that Nintendo hasn't had a Nintendo Direct yet, which the, the longer and longer it goes on, I think it, it becomes... Um, I believe it more that this is linked to it. Yeah. It's a very serious thing. I mean, there's thousands of people dying from this. Thousands mm -hmm. of, and it's now in the U.S. spreading. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to get your take on the coronavirus and how it's affecting this whole industry. Um. So, so last week, Jamesy and I mentioned this a little bit, and we talked about it a little bit. And, and I believe right here, right now, this moment, it's not an issue. If they don't get this thing figured out in the next three to six months, I think the industry is in big trouble. Mm -hmm. You have two game companies getting ready to launch brand new consoles this year. Um, there's there's talks that the, the Switch Lite, the Coral Switch Lite, could be shortages on it, mm -hmm. not, not the entire amount. I remember when there was actual talk about the original... Uh, Animal Crossing Switch might be impacted by this thing. There is, I just got an email this week from Amazon Japan that some accessories I bought for Animal Crossing are delayed, that they're not coming out. I won't get them till May. Wow. So when you, when you look at this on a, on a grand scheme of things, I think we are in a situation that if it's not taken care of quickly, it could it could put a big hurt on the gaming industry. Now, does that affect Nintendo? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that Nintendo is in a very good position because if anything, it it hurts the other companies because they become they get put into a shortage situation where Nintendo doesn't doesn't have that. The console's out. Their console's mm -hmm. out and it's selling. Now, does it slow Nintendo sales? Yes. But in terms of uh, software, I think it, it helps them. It doesn't hurt them at all. Yeah. Physical copies, yes. But you still have your digital stores. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing that says that Nintendo can't go, hey, we're going to release this game. It's going to be limited quantities physical, but it's available digital. No big yeah. deal. And I think that's what you're going to start seeing happen for Nintendo. Um so in the overall of the three, I think Nintendo's in a better position. Mm -hmm. But what but the problem is what I think hurts all three companies is Christmas time, if you have limited inventory hitting because these factories and warehouses in China are being shut down right now to kind of quarantine the issues, you you got you got some you got some stuff going on. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean the fact that Nintendo is gearing up to launch millions and millions of Animal Crossing physical copies, like obviously it's not um, it's not numbing to the industry in that way. And digital, the digital store will always be there. But you got to think long term, and I think the Coral Switch is going to be the most telling thing. If you go into the store and you see like one, one or two, then I think. Because when the, when the original Switch lights came out, there was like 10 of each, 20 of each at stores. So I think long term it hurts. Now, if you talk about conferences, there's been companies who have said flat out, this is the reason why we're not going. So E3 is in question right now whether it's going to take place. L.A. is like under quarantine right now. So LA, it's like – Yeah, L.A. is in a uh, state of emergency right now. Yeah. So if you have the entire state where E3 is held – in a state of emergency, and then in three months, we are supposed to have the biggest game conference in the United States there, what happens? You know, yeah. and do companies then back out? Like GDC, which is in San Francisco, and it happens like a couple weeks before, 
or like a couple months before it's already been canceled. They pushed that off. They said it's not going to happen until the end of uh, or until the summertime. Yeah. And it, and, it, and by the way, it's not even going to be the actual GDC. It's going to be like a spiritual uh, conference. Like it's going to feel like GDC, but everything that you're supposed to do at GDC isn't getting done now. Mm-hmm. So, uh, man, I just really, yeah, I, I it's 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 nuts, man. It's, nuts. it's a scary thing. I mean, now you go over to the conversation of does is this affecting? Is this the reason why Nintendo Direct hasn't happened yet? To that, I say no. Yeah, I I, no. I honestly think, and this may seem crazy because Nintendo has one console right now. They're only focusing on this. I don't think Nintendo has enough to make a presentation to get fans excited. I I, I really do believe that. I I don't even know if we get a direct before E three. It's what, March? It's March. I think, okay. When's the direct? June? Yeah, the, the, I mean, the E3, E3 direct is in June. I think that, number one, like, I am so sick of the commentary going on right now. Where people, and I'm not talking about, like, fans. Because I understand the fans are hyped up for stuff. But I believe that the fans are being driven and hyped up from people that have no sense of responsibility and running their mouths, making promises that they have no idea what they're talking about. Yep. There are YouTubers out there, your favorite YouTubers that you click on every week that are literally pumping out clickbait. I watched a video the other day where seriously, we are now into March, and they're literally promising in April we're getting directs. It's like, stop. Stop yeah. promising stuff that you don't even know what you're talking about. Enough is enough, man. You don't know what you're talking about. You're making updates. You're pulling stuff out of your butt. It's mm-hmm. not the truth. Stop feeding the frenzy. And it's just a consistent thing. And then you have other commentators that are going like, oh, their radio silence is scary. Excuse me. We had a Pokemon Direct. We had a Smash Direct. We have an Animal Crossing Direct. We have an Indies Direct. That's four things. Plus, we have a multitude of Twitter Directs where they're constantly pumping stuff out. They're not silent. They're just not giving you a Nintendo Direct. Mm -hmm. Now, do I want to see a Nintendo Direct? Absolutely. I love them just as much as the next guy. But when you have people out there that are just doing a disservice to the company and to the fans by promising stuff that you have no idea what you're talking about, you're you're going off of leakers that aren't even leakers. Every month. Yeah. Oh, this leads to January Direct, February Direct, March Direct. And it's like, but I honestly stick to what I say. I don't think Nintendo has enough to show us 20, 30 minutes worth of new stuff. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. This is what I'm thinking. I think Nintendo is going, we have some great games that we want to highlight, Pokemon Direct, Animal Crossing, but cohesively with third-party announcements, I just don't see it. I just don't see it yet. Let's let's be fair. Let's be fair. If they would have done a Direct in January, they could have showed off a bunch of stuff. They could have packaged in the Smash stuff. They could have packaged in the Pokemon stuff. (laughs) <clears throat> the Animal Crossing stuff, I don't want in there. I don't think that that should have been yeah. there anyway. You could have showed off the console, though. You could have introduced the console at that time. You have Doom. You could have talked about that. There are things coming out that they could have easily talked about. But I want to give a call out to Donnie Reese of uh, Nintendo Shack. He was on Nintendo Dads this week, and he said so eloquently, man, he just basically pulled out and was like, listen, the other guys aren't doing anything either. If mm-hmm. anything, they're the ones that are absolutely silent. They have brand new consoles coming out this year, and they're not talking at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, So here is Nintendo that's like, they are doing stuff. We just need to be patient. And this could potentially be the one down year for Nintendo. Like, let, let's be honest. Year one of Nintendo, of Switch was they put a lot of stuff on hold that was supposed to hit the Wii U, and they pushed it over to the Switch. Year two of the Switch was a little bit of a, a little bit of a down year, right? It was nowhere near compared to year one, but yeah. it was still a solid year. Year three was a very dry first half, 
and then we got a dump of yeah. games in the back half. And it could be the same thing. It could be a situation where the front half is a little dry, but the back half is going to be a deluge. Mm-hmm. And I think that I don't believe that the coronavirus, I don't believe that um, lack of games is anything. We know for a fact that you have, they're going to talk about the Pokemon expansion packs that are going to be hitting, right, at the Direct, at the, at the E3 Direct. You, We know that there's potentially two Wii U games that Emily Rogers is stating that. And she's, if you're going to listen to a leaker, she's probably the leaker you want to listen to. She's yeah. she's right a lot more often than she's wrong. Uh, not Jimmy Bob 54342 on, on <laughs> you, you know, on these message boards. Like, don't listen to that guy. Like, yeah. 4chan don't know what they're talking about. Like, stop. Random people pop- popping up. I mean, I, I think the the thing is, Nintendo fans think that 2020 is a crucial year because we have two powerhouse consoles coming out, and the Switch technically is two consoles in power behind them. Mm-hmm. And I think people are like, well, Nintendo must have something, They mu- and they shut off Breath of the Wild. Metroid is still floating out there. There's exciting things, and, and fans just want to eat it all up. For me, I'm very patient with Nintendo Directs. Like it doesn't like I have a ton of games to play right now and I'm exploring other consoles and stuff like that, but it's a little weird, but Nintendo if if you're looking for a pattern with Nintendo, you're not going to find it. Like this year it's all game focused directs. Let me Last throw a, year let, let me throw a new narrative at you. Mhm. What if Nintendo is just waiting to steal the thunder from Sony and Xbox? What if Nintendo is waiting for them to announce these consoles and they come out a couple days later with a Nintendo Direct to just shut the media up and shut everybody up off the hype. It could be potentially what it's all about. They unveil it. Mario Kart, Breath of the Wild I mean, coming out this you year. Never, <laughs> you, I mean, dude, let's be honest. You don't know what their game plan is. Yeah. They could have expected Sony to have already talked and announced their console. Sony's kind of throwing a curveball to everybody. Cause, but I think a lot of it has to do with their internal issues. They're having some internal changing of positions and stuff. Their president yeah. stepped down and all this stuff. So I think that that's a different different animal for them. But like, I think that once you once they make their announcement, Nintendo might try to swoop in and try to steal some thunder with. Because I can't think that there is no way that come Christmas time, Nintendo doesn't have a big franchise to push out there to get people excited. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like and, and what I mean by that is something that will kind of pull because listen, the other guys aren't gonna have that franchise game to sell their consoles out the gates. They're gonna have little stuff. They're not gonna have that Breath of the Wild game. Mm-hmm. And and I think that Sony's making the biggest mistake ever by putting Last of Us out now. Wait. Mm-hmm. Wait. Put that out with There's the no PS five. Do exactly what Nintendo did with Breath of the Wild. Put it on the PS five and the PS four. Mm-hmm. And then you're good to go. But it's whatever. I think that Nintendo is just holding it. They're holding back. They're not in a rush, man. They always march to the beat of their own drum. They yeah. do not let, you know, YouTubers that think they are the industry's insiders <laughs> dictate what they do. But going back to the original topic, wash your goddamn hands. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus.